dialogue with each of its neighbors on a non-reciprocal basis. Since he is a trained economist, he spoke an economist's language, Prime Minister. But what my minister, Anand Sharma Saab, said in Karachi, repeated in uh, both Islamabad and Lahore during his uh, February 12 visit to meet his counterpart, Magdoum Saab, was, let Pakistan take one step. India will take two steps on a non-reciprocal basis. I think that commitment still is valid on my files. And uh, I would like to assure my Pakistani friends, we are not looking at uh, 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 increasing our exports. India has uh, uh, its uh, traditional partners. Because for 65 years, if a market is closed, no business person is going to wait. They are looking at the alternate markets. They have established contacts. And the very fact that India has not exported any manufactured goods in substantial quantity to any of its neighbors. All the neighbors have been importing only primary commodities from India. Very few of them have been uh, importing or whatever imports from India have gone into neighboring countries in manufactured goods, that's a very insignificant part of India's exports to these countries. We, in the end, I would only like to say this. Why is uh, uh, always a Pakistan-India causes so much of stress in dialogue? In the morning, I was uh, reading... Um, you know, my classmate uh, uh, and a very eminent economist, uh, uh, Mr. Atindra, Dr. Atindra Sen is here. Um, uh, is one of those uh, very, very in, uh, highly intellectual uh, officers in my class. So a person like him sent him an SMS. Uh, 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 Dr. Atindra Sen is popularly known as Moss. He, because he keeps on rolling and he collects no moss. Uh, that is the uh, reason. <laughs> There was this uh, class of uh, 68 in uh, US, uh, some university, I think it's a uh, University of Penn, Pennsylvania, who went to call on their uh, very senior professor, for whom they had extremely good regard. The setting was uh, in the house of uh, the professor. So professor went to the kitchen. He was uh, mighty delighted to see his uh, class of students who have made a huge career out of uh, learning they received from that uh, great university. He went to the kitchen, uh, brought a, a kettle of uh, coffee and an assortment of uh, 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 cups. Some were uh, crystal, some were uh, porcelain, some were uh, ordinary stainless steel. There were a whole uh, uh, assortment of cups on the tray. He kept the tray containing the cups on the table as well as the coffee pot. And the conversation uh, restarted after the students helped, uh, uh, sorry, ex-students helped themselves to coffee. And the conversation, the students said that life is now uh, so much uh, more full of tension and stress as compared to our good old uh, school days when we were with you. The professor had a very telling point. Look, I kept a set of... Uh, fantastic, high, uh, highly prized uh, cut glass uh, cups, the crystal cups, the porcelain cups, and the ordinary cups. All of you have taken only the most expensive cups. <laughs> the plain cups are still there on the table. The very fact that unconsciously you chose the most exquisite, most expensive stuff, injects stress into your life. So is there a different way of looking at how we do business when we talk about India and Pakistan? But the unfortunate part is uh, when I reach that close to success, somebody changes the lock. So this time around, uh, I'm sure uh, um, uh, we have uh, uh, total confidence that uh, the lock will not be changed and we are extremely close to success. 
and um, as, at a personal level, uh, this is all I need to say is uh, we wish uh, the best to people of Pakistan, I mean, uh, our uh, brothers and sisters there, other side. All we wish is uh, a shared prosperity by normalizing uh, and uh, facilitating interactions between uh, private sectors on either side. And uh, God gave us uh, this uh, wisdom on either side to recognizing this and taking this uh, dialogue forward. Thank you very, very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a privilege meeting with you.